with the philosophy of digital learning successful. So in this tutorial, I'll be discussing about creating different different environment for our test project, and we'll be doing the conditional flowing executions using the Ruby script. Okay. So let's get started to get the details of it. Okay, so let me show you guys how you can create environment, different different environment. Actually, in real uh, project, we need to have separate setup environment. That will uh, in that environment we are running our test script. Okay, the SOPI request to the process. And like for an example, uh, for different setup environments, we will be having different setup endpoints. Okay, like for Moxa, basically water run, we will be having some endpoints uh, pointing to some uh, particular port, right? Uh, similarly, we will be set. We will be having setup environment where we will be want. To, we will, where we will want to run our uh, soap request. Where we want to run our process uh, soap process. Uh, so for that, we need to have uh, different setup environment. So for creating environment, let me show you. This is my project level. Uh, so for this project, football soap UI project, let me take you to my soap UI. And this is the test that I created. Okay. So. If we go to the test suite options, we will having the options that environment. Okay, if you click on that environment, some environment pop up, you will get currently already I've created one environment that is Aditya Tasco environment. You can also create additional environment like click on add button. So you'll be having that options that create a new environment where you have to provide your setup of the environment name. Uh, currently setting up is a mock. And set option is then if you put this as empty, then it will ask the endpoint. Okay, you have to provide explicitly the endpoint with along with the port number you want to run your uh, you want to create your environment. Or if you choose this option, copy endpoints or credential, so it will use the existing and uh, existing endpoints and all the files, details, credential from the existing project. Okay, so I mean, uh, when you'll be creating mock service and you want to execute a script in different setup environment, just choose the mock and click on empty. And click see you will be having it options like endpoint endpoint is coming as a blank and the previous one that created this endpoint has been the given already so for mock service then the mock service code you are uh, running your jetty server you have to provide okay so uh don't have, i mean i'm not going to show you i mean uh, these portions because i already created one for uh, this separate setup environment i'm going to show you how to switch from default environment to this environment and execute a test script on different setup environment okay so I mean currently we, if you don't have use any environment you will be having some default environment where your case will run this is the default project set environment which is come along with your project setup okay so all the soap request uh, let me take a look at my project this is the uh, so this is by all so soap request uh, so we can see that WSDL URL web service description language URL along with the namespace Binding so everything is getting uh, everything is listed there, right? And what about the operations are endpoint? You can see this is the endpoint of our uh, project, so PUA project. Okay, so for the same inside that, I uh, created uh, a separate set of environment added at underscore env, and we are using the same uh, I mean, this endpoints for mock service. You will be having different set of environment that is uh, based on your whichever port you are running a jetty server. Okay, so suppose uh, the this environment I want, I've created, I want to run our test uh, case here. So let me show you how you can do that. Uh, let me, you can assign the environment in project level or in test suite level or in the test case level. Okay. This is my test suite. So you can also assign the environment as setup script and test suite level. Or uh, in the project level, also you can choose like this is a project level. Here you can also give the options as setup script where you want to run your in, uh, test suite in this particular environment not. So in the setup script portion you have to mention the environment you want to run and all these things need to be created before uh, you run your actual test script or test suite. Okay. So for test case I have created one uh, environment in the setup script with the environment written as a Groovy. Uh, so if we can see that uh, we have run a command. We have written a command this is uh, from the test runner test runner dot test case that is dot test case why because i'm implementing it from the test case level so test case dot test test suite project set active environment aditi environment because uh, this is a default environment i want to navigate to the aditi environment i want to run our test case okay if you want to run it uh, if you want to set up the script for uh, test suite level just you have to do this way Uh, 
on just test scanner the test test suite okay this one is for test suite level uh, setup script setup script if you want to run your project from uh, run the same setup script from project level you can do just simply okay this will uh, trigger a form uh, project level okay setup script so in the project level setup script you have to mention uh, the environment this one, okay the project level uh, I'm, I'm doing it for test case level this is a test this is my test case test case underscore zero zero one underscore goalkeeper so that is why i'm mentioning this way on the test case level okay so put it now so i'm just uh, okay uh let me just clear the lock okay if i if i run if you, uh, the environment i've written then i'm printing the environment name whatever the environment name test suite dot project get active environment so it will print the active environment name and then you can also do one thing like if you want to run our test uh, step whichever the test step i want to run so inside my test case let me close the api part okay this is my uh, this is my test suite and it's having like five different tests five test cases okay this is a manual step. Uh, let me just a moment. DC underscore zero uh, five. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It, uh, this will be four. Okay, so this is my test uh, suite. It's containing uh, five test cases. If you begin with the first test cases, we can see we are having uh, so many uh, step, like starting the Groovy step, then data source, request goalkeeper, property transfer, data sync, data loop, uh, then the uh, next two step is all uh, group competitors and request group count. So all the steps are mentioned inside a test script, or you can say the test case. Okay, so if I want to run only the request goalkeeper, this test step, that you can also mention this way. Uh, test run on the run a uh, test step by name uh, just let me run it and we'll see the log result and on which uh, step it is invoking okay so click on that so in the ready api log we can see the got response for info so binding all goal request okay all goalkeeper request so this is for the soap request we are getting a response and if you want to check the script log If you want to check the skip logs, say I have chosen the active environment as Aditya and as for environment. So we are getting the environment name here. The active environment now, Aditya environment. Okay. Let me just clear it, run it again. Okay. So you can see the active environment now, Aditya environment. Let me just environment for the environment. Let me just clear it. So it's invoking this particular request goalkeepers and script log. We can see it's printing the environment name. Also, this is not running or test so as of now because I haven't, I haven't run these options. I've just run our test script to see whatever it's invoking. Okay. Now in the next part, I'm going to see that how we can we are having separate set of data, uh, separate as of test step inside that test script. Okay. Now. I want to run our conditional at uh, conditional run for different set of step like uh, I want to run only step 2 and step 3 not this one so so many step I want to run only this step and this step okay and I don't want this step uh, need to be run so we can do it two ways either you can do manually go to it or just disable it disable the test step we are we have that option disable test step or uh, if you don't want we can all other options um, you can you can run your uh, the same from your setup script or you can uh, take one step like Groovy script inside the Groovy script you have to mention whichever the test step you want to cover okay so suppose this is my test script and uh, 
for test script, I have taken one new step. Let's click on that. Add step. Add Groovy script. Okay. So Groovy script step that I have taken. Inside the Groovy script, you have to mention whichever the step you want to run. Okay. You will be having different set of step. So first in the test case level, I mentioned the environment. This is the environment I want to run, and and uh, this is the Groovy scripting that I am uh, running actually. Um, So in the in the script we can see that first you have to define the test step and the group utilities that we have defined group utilities uh, new com dot dot so py dot support group utilities and context is the argument is taking and need to, we need to also define the test case so uh, running the group script from test case level so we have to uh, define this definition test case test runner dot test case and whichever the step you want like this step I want and this two step I want okay. The test step test case that get test step by name. Uh, so I'm fetching the test uh, test step name. This is the all group competitors. This is my test step name. And the third step, yeah. And the third step is request group count. So I'm getting the test uh, step by this way for step two. I'm getting the request group count. This is my step name. Okay. The next thing I'm defining the context. So for the first text, the context is uh, I'm importing these options com abuy so py ampl dot wsd test case. You will get these options, and you have to pass your test step uh, parameter here in the context level. So I'm passing to parameter in the context, and the next thing you have to define your test runner class, and you have to pass it to the test step. Okay. So I've defined the test runner class as a new com dot abuy dot so py ampl dot wsd test case wsd test runner. Here we are passing the test case. Okay. So this is the test case uh, that I am passing and dot null. Uh, this is the simple uh, uh, command line that you have to provide. Okay. And um, now we are doing test step dot run test runner dot test step context. The test step context I've created for this. The for the for the first test step that I want to run and for the second test step that I want to run. So in the test step dot run, actually we will be running our test okay we will be invoking our soap request and it will process this okay and now if you want to print I mean, whatever that step got executed you can also print the test step dot get name so it will print the uh, soap request name okay so let me just uh, call it so we can see and this is the code you can write you need a google script and you can uh, run your uh, specific test step along i mean uh, maintain along with this okay and you can also run your test specific test script also this way so for that you have to mention it as a uh, in the test suite level okay now just let me quick run it this script and we'll see if we run this script we will be seeing that this two this uh, step two and step three method will be invoked only okay So we can see the all group competitors and request group count that is invoked. Active and members already set. So uh, let me just clear it and run it again. So it's processing the SOAP request. It's processing the SOAP request. So we, we can see that uh, all group competitors and request group count that has been processed successfully. Okay. If I run this group script, okay. So this is my two uh, step has been run successfully, and that's why I am getting this API log. It's showing it's working and got response for uh, this API. Okay, now if I put some assertion over there, like just I want to cross check it is actually running or not. So so frequency is coming is valid. We just check on. Uh, I'm just putting one assertions like uh, which assertion should I put? Contents. Contents. I'm putting. Um, let me just see the soap response that I've got.
contains sd 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 something i'm putting this is that should not be there okay that is not there and let me take go to my ruby script and again we'll run it and let me just clear it so it's pushing the first soap request and it, it should fail okay so first step in is invoke properly and it is failing that we can see that we have provided the uh, content content assessment that is are given as the content should be like this so it's failing so let me just delete it okay so so we have seen that i mean uh, if you want to run our conditional test step inside the test script so we can uh, take a one step like ruby script and if you click on that ruby script it will only run particular test step inside the test script okay so for this case i i am running only this uh, i mean this two 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 test steps okay now uh, let me uh, if i want to run only this uh, step 3 okay not only two just you can do one thing uh, here the test step runner uh, just disable this yeah let me just clear it skip lock i'm clear clearing let me run it so we can see only the uh, request group count that test step got executed uh, that cause why i've only mentioned that uh, the test step const context for the step for this step, particular step okay so utilizing that the ruby script inside our test script we can do the conditional uh, test step executions and we have also seen we can utilize the test case your test suite level your project level uh, setup script to to set up some uh, particular environment let me just call it yeah. to set up some particular environment accordingly you can also use the tiered down environment like uh, uh, like um, after the project has been done yeah all the process has been successfully execution completed you want to close your uh, uh, you want to generate the report and then you want to mail this report i mean all this uh, tiered down activity like we used to do in other uh, normal uh, test project okay so all this tiered down activity you can mention uh, in the tiered down script for the particular uh, test case or test suite level or project level so it will be invoked after the test case has successfully done okay so this way you can uh, mention your test setup or um, for creation of different different setup environment and move to the different environment and utilizing your Groovy script inside the test script to run some particular test case okay so that's all for today guys uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, okay thank you Thank you for watching.